you know one of the virtues which is important uh, for us to inculcate is the virtue of humility humility is realizing that we are not superior to someone else okay. in the world in which we live uh, we all want to excel so as a child uh, in our parents are always warning us to come first in the class if we go for sports we want to win and so so it's ingrained into us to do better than everyone else and so there's a lot of uh, pressure on a person uh, to do better than their peers so since we are trained like that uh, we always think of ourselves as slightly better than others and and whenever we think of ourselves as better than others then we create duality because they have to be two for one to be better than the other so whenever duality comes into play then it is not possible to know god so the saints and mystics have always been talking about oneness that we need to experience the oneness that we have with each other and with god sang kapal singh ji maharaj had a very small saying says ek bano nek bano it means be one and be virtuous and so humility is one of the virtues that we need to inculcate in our being so that we are recognizing that we're all one and the same humility doesn't mean that we have someone overpower us that's not the question humility doesn't mean that if if someone is doing wrong to us we just uh, don't stand up for right but humility means understanding that we're all one humility means getting to that level we will realize that we are one Now, how do we realize that we are one first we need to realize the oneness with the lord So what is it that makes us same as everyone else? It's not the outer part. The outer being is different. You know, our features are different, our cultures are different. We speak differently, we think differently, we eat differently. You know, everything about us on the outside is different. So what makes us realize that we one is if we find a connection with the Lord. Now, once we find the oneness with god and once we realize that we are one with god then the realization that if we are one with god so is everyone else one with god and then it comes in the principle of recognizing that we are all one and the same and this is where meditation comes into play you know as we meditate as we arise above physical body consciousness we are able to connect with the divine power within as the connection is made then we realize that okay we there's something more to life than what we experience or our senses and then as the spirit soars as the soul travels as we get to experience glimpses of the divine then we start to find our oneness with god and so it's finding that oneness with god which will have us truly be humble because the realization that we're all one and the same will make us look at everyone that we meet um with love uh, with the same angle of vision uh, some darshan singh ji mara road very beautifully says let's embrace every human being as our own and let's pass through life distributing the love of god so that's the state that we can achieve that's the state we want to achieve the state which will make us live a life like we should be living and and that comes when we experience a oneness with the lord and and that is what makes one truly humble because realizing the oneness with the creator is is what makes us understand that we are all one and the same